You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. Sri Lankan President Gotabaya Rajapaksa fled the country for the Maldives on Wednesday, hours before he was due to step down amid widespread protests over his handling of a devastating economic crisis. Rajapaksa, his wife and two bodyguards left aboard a Sri Lankan Air Force plane, the Air Force said in a statement. Now is the time that they can... A government source of the person close to Rajapakasa said he was in mail, the capital of Maldives. The president would most likely proceed to another Asian country from there, the government source said. The president's flight brings to an end of the rule of the powerful Rajapakasa clan that has dominated politics in the South Asian nation for the last two decades. Protests against the economic crisis have simmered for months and come to a head last weekend when hundreds of thousands of people took over the key government buildings in Colombo. Critics blame the Rajapakakas and their allies for the runaway inflation, corruption and the severe lack of fuel and medicines. Government sources and aides said that the President's brothers, former Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapakasa and former Finance Minister Basil Rajapakasa were still in Sri Lanka. A news of the president's flight spread thousands of people gathered at the main protest site in Colombo chanting, Got a thief, got a thief, referring him by a nickname. Rajakapasa was due to step down as president on Wednesday to make way for unity government after the protests had stalled his and the prime minister's official residence. Sources close to Mahinda Yapa Abu Wadgawandana, the speaker of Sri Lanka's parliament, said he was yet to receive any communication from Rajakapasa. The source close to Rabbi Chikasa said he would send in a letter of resignation later on Wednesday. That would make the Prime Minister Ranil Wickenwick the acting president, although he was also offered to resign. If he does, the Speaker will be acting president until the president is elected as per constitution. A statement from protest leaders, however, have warned of the decisive flight if the Wickenwick does not resign on Wednesday afternoon. If we don't hear from the resignation of the President and the Prime Minister by the evening, we may have to gather back and take over Parliament of another government building, said Buddha Prahada Gavundatani, one of the organisers of the recent protests. We are strongly against the Gotarani government. Both have to go.